Hi, this is SVH, and I'm here today to talk to you about a really exciting product that uh, I'm really excited to have in my hands. It's the um, Editor's Keys Keyboard for Personas and Studio One program. Now, uh, Personas and Studio One is a digital audio workstation that um, has become my uh, program of choice for mixing, mastering, recording, all that. Um, it's really innovative, it's come a long way in the last few years. Um, since they designed it, and really just is an amazing recording software, and I really enjoy working in it. Um, but one of the things when you're recording, um, whether you're engineering in a studio or doing it at home yourself, that type of thing, you really want to be able to get in and out of your track easily. You want to punch in and punch out fast. You want to have all the tools and things that you need at your fingertips. And um, up until now, you usually had to take and, you know, print out some sort of cheat sheet with all the little keyboard shortcuts on it, tape it on your monitor or next to your keyboard or something like that, and it just becomes an extra thing that gets in the way and an extra process because you got to kind of look at the paper and figure out what's what. Well, Editor's Keys has taken the guesswork out of that for you and made a really cool product. Um, now, they make these for Pro Tools, they make them for a lot of other DAWs. This one here is specifically made for Personas Studio One. So I'm very excited about that. Um, as you can see, it's color coded. So you have um, little color color coding here for all your F1, F10 keys up here, so forth. All of your major tools like your arrow tool, your range tool, split tool, all those are categorized here. They have your auto punch, pre-roll, and everything. And they've color coded these to kind of keep everything grouped in little sections uh, according to what the function is of your process as you're engineering and recording. Um, really good design. The way that this keyboard is put together, um, I've gone through several Mac keyboards over the years, and this one in particular, it's really well constructed. It's a very sleek design. You can see that it's very thin, lays really nicely on your uh, desktop. One thing I notice about this, and I'm kind of getting a little closer so you can see the keys a little bit better, these keys um, feel kind of slightly rubberized, almost as if, um, you're touching like a, uh, a drum pad or a control surface or something like that. So any other apparatus that you might have in the studio is going to have buttons that are going to feel very similar to this. And me personally, I think that adds to the studio aesthetic of this particular keyboard. Really makes it stand out because it's got that ability to really uh, feel a lot more like a studio piece of gear. The way that the buttons press, um, you don't get a lot of clicking out of them. It's not a lot of that tapping sound that you get out of a standard keyboard. The keys um, sit very flush. You know, you can kind of see that the keys kind of uh, sit flush with the top of that. Really, really well designed. Um, when I first pulled it out of the box, that was one of the things I noticed is that they didn't scrimp on the design of this. They really put a lot of attention into detail. And as far as uh, just being a good quality keyboard, they didn't they didn't cut corners on it. They made a really nice keyboard. And aside from that, with the editing keys all the capability of getting in and out during your session, you know, really having all the tools that you need at your fingertips to really do a great recording. And the easier time that you have in the studio, the better the recording is going to be. Um, it really doesn't matter whether you're working with somebody else or doing it yourself. Time wasted in the studio or frustration because you're trying to get to a certain tool or trying to find something, all that's wasted time, wasted effort, wasted energy that could really be spent on the creative process. Uh, which is really what I'm all about. So if you're really looking to expand your creativity by having the tools that you need to really whiz through your recording software, I would really highly recommend checking out the Editor's Keys keyboard for Personas and Studio One or for Pro Tools or any other recording software that you want. You can just go to their website, I believe it's editorskeys.com, and you can find all the information about all the other recording products they have. They have some really great uh, microphones, recording stuff. So uh, yeah, check them out, Editor's Keys, and it's the Editor's Keys Personas 